Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL round of 16 match between Mr. Page and his Chaos versus Jonza and his Nurgle. We have two massive minds of the Blood Bowl community here. Um, two, you know, real thinking man's teams. We've got one team is Nurgle who have, um, you know, nine regen and they've got, you know, some claw might, two claw mighty and a claw piling on mighty blow um, tackler. And then versus Chaos that have got, how many? One, two, three, three claw pom players and four claw mighty players. So it's a huge, huge advantage to Chaos. But, you know, the Nurgle have regen to keep them in the match, maybe. And they've also got a bribe and a babe. <laughs> but, I mean, the Nurgle absolutely, absolutely screwed here. And we've got 14 players on. Oh, they've got a Merc DP as well. Okay, it's the Merc DP to try and get the uh, Claw Pommers out. Or, or at least dissuade piling on. And Mr. Page actually has some reserves for once, unbelievable. 14 man team, very good. Way better than his usual 11 man teams that he normally brings. So there you go. Maybe he's learned, you know, after like the 20th time of asking. <laughs> you know, the 20th time of running up a monster team in the first week. He's finally realised that maybe he should stop having 11 man teams to brutalise people and make them concede because um, that's not going to happen in the playoffs. So, you know, it's taken him a while, but he's got there in the end. The penultimate season of CCL. Amazing. Do not even think of fouling that guy. What the hell's wrong with you? If you foul, if you make this foul, Jonza. Alright, good. Yes, you have to pile on every time, dog to the dog. You have to pile on every time. You should know. Dog to the dog asking if you need to pile on every time. Are you serious? Are you serious? What, who are you and what have you done? I mean, are, are, do you, like, are you saying he has to? Yeah, you, you meaning he has to. He has to pile on. Reroll the foul appearance. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> Pile on. Hello, fam. What are rerolls for if not to just randomly try to hurt things? Yeah, you've got to pile everything. You've got to literally pile on every single time. It's it's completely. You know that we've got the meme. We've got the meme now. Let me let me get the meme on screen for people. This was made by Look No Numbers. And it's a great meme. Let me just pause it and show you this for a second. There we go, you see. We've got all the... <laughs> <laughs> Always pile on at the extreme low end of the graph. The middle, the midwit, as some I've heard people call them. The value of having a standing position that could impact my opponent's next turn. And always pile on is what the cleverest people do. There yes. you go. It is. That's the truth. <laughs> it really is. It really there is, is no possible argument of any kind. Correct. Unless it literally loses you the match that turn. You flip and pile on, and hello, Fimeer. Hello, fans of Blood Bowl 2. Now, welcome to this uh, game, oh, Paul. Oh, you idiot. Now, I'm not saying he's an idiot, even though I just said you're idiot. But he's literally induced a dirty player, loner, to foul claw pommers, and is fouling a wrestle tackle player. Sadness. Sadness, but to bring some joy, let's dedicate this uh, game to our viewers in <laughs> Japan. 
Ooh. A big one. Japan with the national flower, the cherry blossoms, as everybody that watch any ma any anime or read any manga knows perfectly because cherry blossoms are always there before the last fight. <laughs> Na and the national dish is the curry rice. There you go. So and, uh, now if you share the screen, so I don't have to look at the uh, stream. That would be nice. Yep. Um, so what we saw there was we saw a double one rerolled uh, foul appearance fail. And then he was able to claw Mikey, the dirty player, um, due to this kind of terrible foul that he attempted. But we have got Claw Pom on Claw Pom. Normally, that is like the biggest brain move you can do in these kind of matches, is, is you know, trying to get your Claw Pom to hit their Claw Pom. Obviously, it's not that big of an achievement versus Mr. Page when he's got four of them. <laughs> and there comes the pylon, which terrible pylon. I will never have pylon. Oh, well, he's just scored. I'm just going to lose him. Right. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, these nerds are up shit creek. Like, honestly, it's... Hello, subscriber, Stacker310. <laughs> hello, subscriber, hold the keep. If anyone else says hello, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> All right, Stacker, then. Okay, I think I can see that Stacker is Spanish. Stacker is Spanish. Scoring the three turns. I mean, his team, his team is trash, right? He's, what, like, what even chances he have? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he's got here. Honestly, like, he's got one claw bomb. I guess one claw bomb can win the game against a lot of people. But like, the difference between the two teams, right? Like, I get, you know, his team's all right, but it's, it's really not. Like, he's done well to get this far, and Page's team is just like, you know, one of the best chaos teams we've ever seen in the cup. Hello, subscriber Ducky. <laughs> Hello. And if you, and you think, Victor, my boy, that you've seen Spanish is going to try to make me, you know, acknowledge you present, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I believe he did, yes, he had four, so I don't know if he's got a, it doesn't look like he's got a leader, does it? So. I'm sure he's not rostering four rerolls and a deep bench. That would be most un Mr. Page like. It's already crazy that he's got 14 players. Subscriber HTK, there's your question answered. <laughs> Three dice off a of nerves, says Mr. Page. Oh, got one here though with Claw Mighty rather than Claw Pom. You're not subscribing. Why? You can be acknowledged as a real human being if you subscribe. <laughs> exactly. Well, what is this? Uh, if you want to interact uh, with me in another environment, you can come to my channel and I literally speak to anyone that regrets there. <laughs> but that, that's here worth, we have that, standards. It's definitely worth subscribing to have Fimea treat you like a real human. <laughs> Ugly would do more than subscribe for it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Oh, no, it's and CK. I will defend. I will defend. Gifted a tier once uh, to Persor, so Persor is Persor now. Oh, glorious. Hello, Sambo Simon. <laughs> Absolute legend. <laughs> he he the hell out of that gift sub. Yes, yes, you triggered uh, us into responding to you, making a uh, HCK spend money. <laughs> oh, man, oh, make we an EVA. <laughs> True, well, that's a good point, actually, Big GG. Pogler would also enjoy... <laughs> Pogler would also enjoy finally treating him like a non-human. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, any, any interaction at all with Prime. <laughs> yes, yes. And also, I am starting to get my own uh, emotes for the channel. This is my Dimi version. Oh, this glorious. Is my, Dimi, my Dimi emote. <laughs> I need to find the very game better so it's uh, bigger. You can see it bigger. Today. 
Oh man. Right, anyway, uh, so yeah, thanks, thanks HTK and hello Sambo Simon. Uh, look at that subscriber Sambo Simon, a real boy. <laughs> This is a pretty good gimmick. I, I like this gimmick, to be honest. Oh, wow, there's another one gone. And, I mean, just settle for two on grind, isn't it? But, I mean, what else can you do? Okay, well, all right, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, Sambo Simon, I know. I know, um... Hey, good, good, Sambo Simon, good. That's how you become a VIP in my channel. <laughs> Yeah, it's to, to be fair, like I know, I know, I know, I know, you know, I know my role in this. <laughs> and, uh, Thanks, Steve. Uh, probably the, I'll get it in the, in the period between tomorrow and thirty years. <laughs> I mean, that's that's true, Victor Ivo, but I'm not a seen it. Um, but also, like you know, so like only no, people no, like small people who who are like that. Are screwed, right? But obviously, with the big people, it's the only option they've got, right? Like, as the bigger they go, it's only donations they respond to because they would just. I mean, the, the chat goes a million miles an hour, doesn't it? For the bigger streamers. Yeah, in the biggest streamer, when 10,000 10, people is literally impossible to follow the, the stream. I don't know why even people write on the chat, you know? Like, what are you trying? It's impossible to read anything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Read reroll there. Oh, a Kaz, a, a Kaz, here we go. Friend didn't save him. Badly hurt, he uses an apple on the guy who's niggled. Probably his worst player, and he was and he was safe as well. That was a strange apple, if you ask me. Oh, it was the second warrior to get Kaz, okay. A smart reroll, greed reroll all the hits. But in making that hit, he has maybe... Well, no, he hasn't. It's, it's actually, Mr. Page doesn't have any players that have to, be able to uh, fashion a, a club on hit. And in fact, how is this happening? How, why is this guy down here? That guy stunned. These two here. How has Mr. Page played this so badly? <laughs> 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 He's in so much trouble after absolutely uh, winning. Thirst of blood. Let's get the block dice. He <laughs> just more of a Dell's coach. Yeah. Three, six, nine. It's nine versus nine, right? No, there's ten. Mr. Pid, right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mr. Page has nine. And Jonza has three, six, nine. It's nine versus nine. Right? Unless I can't count. Yeah, it's nine versus nine. Okay. Okay. Done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Now, yes, a casual dodge. Mm -hmm. So, you can claw pom the claw pom and get the beast on the ball. Really nice. No, it's just gonna clop on the ball, okay. Well, I don't know, I think clop on the clop on is probably better, seeing as no one really cares about the ball in this game. <laughs> well, I mean, killing a, the ball, a player and getting the ball is also cool. Gets the removal. Yeah, I don't know why Mr. Page just allowed easy hits, you know, when he was just. And now he can put the beast on the ball. Oh, got to reroll that. Oh, oh, yes, yes, he has to reroll that. Mm. 
I mean, it's not hard to deal actually with the uh, with the beast, is it? Certainly not now, because now he can just block them through. Three, and not only is he blocking them through, he's blocking them through with claw mate, isn't he? So it's, it's brutal. Hello, MC crew. Yep, actually targeting the ball. It's, uh, honestly, I was shocked. Like, even though it was just free to hit the ball, <laughs> I'm still shocked it happened. <laughs> And now he has a path to blitz the beast. Yep. And pick up the ball with the player he frees. Juggernaut. Juggernaut. He hasn't blitzed. Oh, he's movement five, that's why he didn't blitz. In fairness, well. he's movement five. Lots of foul appearance re rolls, yeah. It's the most important thing, isn't it? Hitting things. It's the only thing he's needed rerolls for, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, probably he was thinking about the rerolling that uh, if he had a reroll for, you know, getting the GFI to make the blitz with the Juggernaut, <laughs> yeah. the situation would be much better. It was a bad non-follow, wasn't it, by uh, by Jones yeah. there? He could have piled on that pile on it. Mm -hmm. I might actually defend this Jones just like right through. Yes, yes. <laughs> this beast actually being pretty amazing. The beast, uh, yes, because uh, he did the uh, things in the world order. Oh. He, he last should move. have uh, go for the juggernaut hit on the beast. Yes, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, the juggernaut blitz, I mean. Yes, yeah, so like he blitzed up with him, but just stand up with him and blitz the other guy, and then so we've got juggernaut, but you know. Who can say if it's right or wrong here? Actually using your skills. <laughs> That's what oh. I don't understand. When people have taken them, right? Like, I can understand people, like, you know, playing a team, you know, like, uh, say, Dark Elves, and not, you know, realising the Witch Elf has jump up and stuff, and, like, you know, not taking jump up blocks, and then not, you know, realising that she's a scoring threat and stuff because of jump up or whatever. But, like, when you've actually taken Juggernaut, and you're facing something that's strength five with block guards down the firm. <laughs> like it's not rocket science, is it, to, to blitz with the juggernaut? That's a dead pestigor. Dead, dead, dead. Dodge wrestle. Another foul oh, appearance. Foul appearance and uh, no rerolls. <laughs> foul appearance has been top tier this Wait, game. wait, did he. Uh, he... Okay, okay, he couldn't score. No, no. Wow, so somehow John's a defender. Um, the only difference between this Flop Bomb Festival and uh, its equivalent in Blue Roll 3 is in Blue Roll 3 will be a sneaky get dirty player. Yes, yeah, it'd be the, it's the sneaky get lottery in. in, in you know, you can. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, that, that will be the thing. And in fact, much more dangerous because the guard works. So it's a guaranteed uh, armor break uh, when a uh, guard, big guard teams is guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, it's a really big, really big change, the guard on assists. And, uh, because, you know, guard wasn't good enough. Yeah, right. <laughs> Buffing guard. Indeed. Well, now all of a sudden the, the Nurgle have got a decent shot, right? Like, I don't know how they defended that. So, I well, think uh, Paige focused a little too much in destroying than in scoring. Yes, it was it was obviously an inept drive from Mr. Page, no offence. It's just true, right? It's fact, it didn't, didn't score. And uh, and now it turns, surely won't fluff this up. And then we 
be looking at overtime. I mean, yes, he, I mean, uh, he can make a lot of removals in these uh, first hits. Yeah. Can't make three nice blocks though. That would be cheating. And people still say, people still say that Mr. Page maximizes blocks well, right? He hasn't blocked with one of these I mean, claw pommers and he made no three dice blocks. So people who say that Mr. Page it does well at maximizing blocks, no he doesn't. Right, carry on. Yeah, okay, I wanted to say hello to um, a subscriber <laughs> of this channel. Character in my uh, War Tales uh, group. The Beastmaster. <laughs> hello, um, Samich. <laughs> Hello, but still not a follower of my channel, you know. No. no Absolute disgrace. Yeah, Tom, the fend was taken because you already you had a. Uh, you already had. Oh, Eliod, the legend. The legend. Oh, Eliod is coming here. Welcome, Raiders. What? 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 Bit of a rowdy raid? Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. <laughs> Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. Glorious. I will defend. Oh baby, MC Crew, thank you very much. Staying fantastic for six glorious months. Oh yeah, one and a half beaver pregnancies or half a year. <laughs> thank you very much. Boobies. <laughs> Don't raise your hands in the air. Why? Because he'll get freaked out when he sees them. <laughs> Is that the idea? <laughs> Hands? What? <laughs> Don't like Hands on Elliot's channel. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you, are you following this image? Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> there was a time when you weren't. <laughs> I'll have to uh, find out more about these boobies. Oh, God. So, yeah, this is the uh, CCL quarterfinal between... Not quarterfinal, round of 16. Between Mr. Page and John the... can't remember who Elliot lost to. Elliot lost, didn't he? I think... <laughs> I don't know. Is this is this who beat Elliot? I can't remember. I don't know. Elliot, Elliot is in the chat, so he can uh, illuminate us. I feel, I feel like the, it's the Nurgle that beat Elliot. Good feeling. to know that uh, I'm making your morning. Glad to be of help. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Eliod might become the first Tumblr Wanger. Yep, he's in the final of the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice to be played on Sunday at 1200 UTC between Eliod and Gdanik. Two absolutely rubbish Blood Bowl coaches who only got to the final because no one's playing Blood pure Bowl luck, Pure luck, terrible teams, terrible teams, you know. And... <laughs> they only got there because 80% of people concede instantly. Yeah, I mean, uh, also there is a lot of collusion, you know. Uh, Nick was visiting uh, Elliot when they were doing the tournament and all that. that was... Yep, just think if Elliot hadn't coached Nick that weekend, maybe his Nick wouldn't have got the final and Elliot would have had an yeah. easier opponent. Question, what <laughs> happens if none of you play? If both of you decide not to play the final, you know, as a critic to the situation with Blood Bowl 3. Like, we're not playing the, the Blood Bowl 3 final until this game is better. <laughs> Who wins? That would be amazing. Yeah, allegedly, for sure, allegedly. Oh, and there's another cans. So, yep, yeah, it's just it's just punch things and hope for the best, isn't it? It's about the most tactical level thinking we'll get at the uh, in this match. Maximize oh. hits, try to minimize hits. They punch. seem to get the first part right. The second part seems to be <laughs> <laughs> a little more complicated. Reroll every time you fail a foul appearance or don't get a knockdown. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was bad by Jonza to expose the dirty player right and good by Mr. Page to go and snipe him. There's the player which uh, have done uh, barely anything and uh, 
he didn't have a, a bribe, or did he have a bribe? He got a bribe, yeah. He's, he had a, he oh, okay. had a bribe. Uh, he, had, that he used the bribe. Okay, then yes, okay. Yeah, instant reroll. We're going for overtime. It's ba overtime is basically guaranteed. Doesn't even follow. Is this the Fen guy? What the hell? No. What the hell are you like? What the hell are you doing re-rolling that hit if you're not going to pile on? Like it's genuinely terrible. Exactly, play. especially when that player will be safe on the ground. I mean, Pech is not gonna use uh, three of his seven players left or whoever players left to you know to try to get the. Uh... Oh, Thomas needs. This is the second time you mentioned J five. And this is the second time we are not going to acknowledge J5 because that can summon J5. <laughs> it's like a bitter juice, but in Republican. <laughs> so the, this ball carry is Kaz, which is why he's gone with the uh, Bludge Warriors, the ball carrier. That was a nice hit, wasn't it, to uh, chain him into the hit. <laughs> and, and finally, finally, the, the fact that every single block is mighty blow claw at least <laughs> it starts taking a serious toll. <laughs> oh, double skulls. Oh, double skulls. Jones hasn't got many players left now, is he? Three, six, six players left. Don't think he'll be getting this uh, this stop. Should really just lie down, honestly. Yes, I mean, uh, putting also, putting that uh, warrior there, you know, to maybe be able to activate the, the beast. I can think of at least two squares that were better than that one. Why is he not following up? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yes, <laughs> you've got having one that, job. Uh, you've got one job, and that's to pile on everything you hit, and you're not following and not piling. Wow, oh, restraint from Mr. Pierce. And it's it. I mean, uh, yeah, this is going to overtime. Red <laughs> okay. dice, just because. Uh, Killed. <laughs> into death. Oh god, this is. I just what a consummately played game this is. I've never seen two, you know, two better coaches in a in a chalice round sixteen. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> I detect some sarcasm, but let's be realistic. That the red dice was bad. <laughs> Putting the chaos warrior, the Nargal warrior, with a guard next to the beast was also bad. Because could be you know behind the beast, and the beast could have been acti activated. I mean, corporal is... mirrors like never, never look smart, right? They're always just about punching things. Yeah, this is this is gonna be. A, it, it was going to be an absolute massacre. But there is, there are ways to hit things that are better than this. Bad. I've seen, like, I've seen games of chivalry too with less violence than this. Yeah, you you really don't have to like allow easy ball sacks, and you don't have to you know reroll absolutely everything and stuff. And, yeah. But what you do have to do is like pile on sometimes. <laughs> Well, this uh, more or less uh, guarantees the... Uh... Oh, beast! Oh, beast! Beast action here! Beast sack. Do you know what? Maybe the boomer build, Lupak, the fact there's a boomer build, that, that is a little bit tempting. I can't lie. <laughs> oh, he's not blitzing with... Oh, cause I guess because he's just going to dodge and hit with... Fail that. 
Kaz himself. <laughs> Kaz himself into uh, uh, a Norwegian. Norwegian. <laughs> uh, Many chaos, as in tradition, I don't know, eh? I've seen a lot of red crosses there. Yeah. Yeah. Get to the pal. And... Doesn't have to pile on. Doesn't have to pile on. Should pile on. But doesn't. Like 100% should have piled on, right? Well, if he piles on and get the cast, the visa is a guarantee. Uh, Ray and roll. Yeah, but the beast and is that... eight out of nine to come back, right? Oh, he has two uh, babes. He's got a babe, so it's eight ah, out yes, of nine. To come then, back. yes, statistically, it was better to pile on. Glorious sound. Yeah, the boomer build is very. Is very uh... Very enticing. I hope it's a boomer build for uh, Diablo 4. Because clicking things is fucked. <laughs> oh, that you mean a uh, build that you don't need to do anything? You just stay there and uh, the other stuff does the job? Yeah, yeah, he just wanders around. I, I saw a little bit of a Lupac stream. He, had, like, he has like some kind of flaming aura or something and he just wanders around and everything dies. <laughs> just melts things as he walks, up, walks around. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious and I will defend. I will defend. Literally on fire all the time. Hello, Hello Lord689. my favorite on comms. Subscriber, Lord689. Subscriber, Lord689. Yes, and a member of my War Tales party, which I have to change the name. Because when I tried to put the lot 689, I got a message that the members of the party hated that name. <laughs> really? Yes, yes, yes. And they got absolutely, uh, there was an absolute rage when I tried to call someone Odontokelis. <laughs> Incredible. He was like, your party members absolutely despise that choice. <laughs> In theory, no piling should make games more fun to watch. But then there's also just the, like, comes down to the fouling as well, right? So whatever ha happens, it's a bit... You know, high TV is kind of stupid, whatever happens, right? Just because you've got loads of kill skills, but you've got no, like, stopping kill skills is the problem. Oh, my stop. I know you're using this FL as excuse to make J5 come. <laughs> so I'm guessing in Path of Exile you can, uh, there is a, a auction house, so you can sell stuff or sell it uh, for the for the money, like actual money. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Try it side, okay. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Page wins the toss. If Johns had won the toss, even with four cards and no rerolls, he had the ball carry, he had a chance. But not much. But, like, you know, might have been it, like, force down, you know, a quick score. Well, it's pouring rain, and uh, that, uh, that's a. Uh... Mr. Page has the ball carrier? Yeah, yeah, it's bad. It's an easy, easy win for Mr. Page now. So. Okay, yeah, big, oh yeah, extra arms. Say it's over. That's miss next. This one is miss next. And he's miss all. Extra arms, you day. You know? Extra arms, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the cheeky, the cheeky eight out of nine pickup. He's setting up for defense on offense until his chat told him, probably. Yeah. <laughs> he, he can have a one, can cook dinner at the same time, thanks to the extra arms. <laughs> Man, extra arms in real life would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> better, better than no arms, that's for sure. <laughs> better than no hands. Better than no hands. <laughs> It would be sick having three arms. We'll just well, extra you, arms. You'll be, be a Jenny Stealer. 
Yeah, extra one, you could have four rounds. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm one granny making dinner. That's dangerous then though, isn't it, right? That's dangerous. What if you spill something hot? <laughs> that was a story that someone said. They were making dinner and they spilt something on their penis. I can't remember who it, who it was that said that, but somebody somebody told there was that story. A, I, there are many stories about that, many variants, I think, and I want to think that most of them are true. But I read one that uh, a guy was uh, cooking, you know, after getting late with his uh, girlfriend, I was cooking, you know, just uh, frying some and, uh, and the girlfriend came and started, uh, you know, giving him a uh, mouth action. <laughs> Let's keep this, you know, family friendly. Yep. Uh, and the guy, you know, was with a uh, pan and olive <laughs> oil, you know, frying eggs, and I was like, ah, you know, when he had the, a moment of happiness. <laughs> The oil fell on the body of the girlfriend that was on her knees, no. and the pain made her uh, bite really, no really hard. No way! So the visit, so the visit to the hospital was like you know a very long story. <laughs> I mean, how do you explain that? Oh man, that'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? Fantastic! I use no I way. use the kind of language that is approved no by uh, YouTube, so. <laughs> Yeah, yep, yeah, brilliant. It's just honestly, Mr. Page is really is. He's like he's an ex shining example to everyone how to protect the ball. Though apparently John Zer is not not bothering to try. <laughs> okay. Like that, you, all you've got to do is put the claw up on the right, and then you your beast can go one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Your whole team can come down. And you know, who knows? Or you can just stand here and wait for your, the rest of your players to die. <laughs> Whichever one you want. Yeah, Rando Galrician, yes, yes. I mean, do I believe that the guy telling the story was basically in a real story? Not much. No. Do I believe that kind of stuff has happened in the history of mankind? Yes. Yeah. 100% yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's lots of like, there's lots of stories about <laughs> things going up asses, isn't there? Like pretty much yes, everything yes. that can go up an ass has gone up an ass. <laughs> and there, there are the X-rays that prove it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh well. There you go. This is looking now. It's actually looking pretty done. So I'm giving him a chance. Jonza didn't even vaguely attempt to take the chance. Um, he still can, right? He still probably can just try and dodge through here. He's got the two heads. But, um, it's like he hasn't got tackle on it, so it's a bit pointless. Wireless, yep. Wireless, yes, of course. I mean, I mean, I hope it's true. Like, that that's one story that I really hope is true that somebody was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a uh, that's so good at so many levels, you know, and involves you know such a serious sport and such serious thing and blah blah blah. And suddenly, you know, people are talking about anal beats, <laughs> and having to write reports about it, you know, and checking on that metal detectors. It's, it's absolutely <laughs> glorious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, trying to find wifey signals, you know, in the room and all that, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this has been... Not not one for the purists, I could imagine, Artemis casting this. I mean, I've been pretty disgusted by it, but Artemis would be... It would have torn his hot hair more, out, I'm sure. More. Artemis, more. Watching this, more. <laughs> But now he's the, in a nostalgia from the old days, playing games from 2012. <laughs> when I saw, you know, nostalgia stream or something like that, oh, what game is it? It's like Legend of Grimrock. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> that game is only 10 years old. <laughs> Something. There's still a chance for Jonza. Not much, but there's a chance. Technically. 
as Elliot would say, don't say it's over. I mean, it is over though. <laughs> it's really fucking over, but don't say it's over. This is the round of 16, Sir Cabelius. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's been this this is more foul appearance fails than I think I've ever seen in my life before in one game. Yeah, there is a lot of them. I mean there's been a lot of blocks, but the uh, other uh, fall appearance is a uh, one in six. For God's sake. Seems like there's been tons. We can have a look at the stats after the game. Oh my god, what a feature! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suspicious toilet visits. Yeah. There, we, there was that kind of thing, you know, people hiding phones in toilets or, uh, you know, having casual encounters in toilets with someone telling them information. Or uh, anything like that, you know, there was that, yes. Yeah, I remember that in the the early days of the internet when there were there was, you know, what's it called, quiz. That I used to go to a quiz night and the, the, everyone would be the, look at their phones in the toilets. <laughs> I haven't been to a quiz night forever. I assume they still happen. They happen. They happen. I passed the path. Uh... Before the has quiz nights nice, uh, Mondays, mm. more or less everybody tries to play fair, you know, it, it, because I mean, if you get out your phone, everybody's looking at you. So <laughs> like... <laughs> no rerolls on either side, so I guess there's a chance, right, that there's like a dub schools or whatever, and then John's uh, survives to kicks with a few players he has, but it's unlikely, isn't it? Really unlikely. This feels oh, yeah. like neither one's been playing Blood Bowl for the entire match, but you know, it's still nearly over. <laughs> now it's officially nearly over. Yes, one way or the other. Mm. By the way, telling uh, talking about the cheating stories in sports, one of the funniest ones uh, I ever read, and this is actually true, is uh, one of the first marathons in the New Olympics. You know, in the, the one that, I don't know, 1920s, 1930s or something like that. Uh, they were running the marathon, you know, people waiting at the stadium, you know, blah, blah, who's going to win. And, uh, and the guy appears, you know, like much earlier than expected. Like, holy oh, shit, yeah. man. Well, he took a car. He took a taxi. There weren't any control on the race, you know, there weren't any, anyone uh, checking the, the race or anything like that because it's a marathon. People let us, it's too boring. 
So the guy just jump in a taxi, say, take me to the stadium. A mile from the stadium and just run the last mile. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. And there you go. There was a chance there, right? There was a 3-2 and 3-2-2. So it wasn't even hard to hit the ball. And uh, obviously instantly one in nine. And there you go. That was uh, that was it for Johnza. That was a match of good ball that happened. Um, yep. <laughs> 24 AV breaks to 22. The, the one with the most AV breaks won the match. Dimi will be glad to know. 67 blocks by one side. Oh, oh my God. 76%. 76%. That's a Filled harsh. one in four instead of one in six. Yeah. There was, there was a lot of them. Um, and yeah, loads of, loads of blocks. 67 versus 51. Yep. Loads of blocks. And there you go. And that, that was it. And um, commiserations, Johnza. Congratulations, Mr. Page. Thank you very much, Faimir, being glorious having you in the booth. It's always a pleasure and uh, a big hello to our viewers in Japan. I'm pretty sure there must be a Blood Bowl community in Japan. They're probably far too sensible to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I don't know of any. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.